Okay, here we are at the Boulder Creek Park, and we are going to do the A and B loop, and we're going to include some of the red sections. So we're going to run the front fork this time on the uh, shock whiz, and then I'll come back to the uh, picnic tables over there, and we will uh, make an assessment and make some adjustments. Here are our numbers. 106 PSI was the preset for the front. Uh, the initial score is 82 points. Confidence interval is 79%. And let's take a look at the suggestions. Okay, so baseline air pressure says remove air quite a bit. Air spring ramp, again, I don't quite understand that one, but it uh, says add spacers. So. I'm going to have to put some air in the uh, lower chamber. Low speed and high speed rebound look pretty good. High speed compression I need to make even softer. Wow. And low speed compression I need to make even softer. So, okay, that means I'm probably going to um, go to the right hand fork bottom and I will increase um, let's see, I'm just going to say I'm going to start by taking some air out. I think that's all I'm going to do is take some air out. Now let's look at the detections. Everything looks pretty good. There's less pogoing, not as much, not very much packing, no bottoming, bobbing or bouncing. Look at the statistics. Huh. All right. So the dynamic sag is only six percent. 6%, and there were no deep compression events, so I definitely need to take some air out. Interesting. Okay. So, we'll go back here, and let's take some air out. Okay. And now, let's see. I think I will... I think I'm going to leave. That's all I'm going to do. I think that's all I'm going to do. Okay, uh, I just finished two laps, and unfortunately I forgot to take photographs of the uh, front fork settings, but I got an 82, and uh, I took about 12 PSI out of the uh, front fork, and then went out on the same loop covering the same terrain. The loop was two and a half minutes faster. Part of that was just clearing some sections that I hadn't been able to clear before and kind of getting my bike legs underneath me. Uh, but the bike definitely felt uh, like it was in more control. And so I checked it at this lap. Uh, unfortunately, it only showed a confidence interval of 49%, and then it also uh, had a lot of incomplete data. But if you're supposed to go from the top down, the air pressure was in the green for compression. And so uh, I thought that was interesting. I also took a picture of the other interesting thing, and that is I had one bottom out for the first time ever. And so uh, I am going to add a uh, single pump stroke into the lower chamber, and I've also converted the uh, app to start reading the rear shock, and I'm going to go do a third lap, set the baseline for the rear shock, and then uh, make adjustments and do one more loop. That's about all I'm going to have time for, and honestly, it's starting to hit about 100 degrees in here, and it's really getting hot. Furthermore, the GoPro uh, battery died, so I won't have any more footage of that, but we'll just take video with this, okay?